The use of stem cell therapy for the treatment of multiple sclerosis is a very exciting prospect which we're going to be discussing today. Essentially, multiple sclerosis is a chronic inflammatory demyelinating disease that affects the central nervous system. Uh, it is immune mediated in the sense that various T cells cause destruction of the myelin sheath which surrounds the nerves of the CNS and the destruction of the sheath causes blocking of the interneuron communication leading to subsequent neural deterioration in the patient. Currently used treatments for multiple sclerosis revolve around immune modulation inhibiting the pathological T-cell response and these include agents such as interferon, steroids, capaxone, and monoclonal antibodies. The problem with the current day treatment for multiple sclerosis is twofold. On the one hand, the immune modulators that are being used have a variety of side effects. And additionally, the immune modulators are not specific. So immune system, the immune system is, is uh, suppressed. In, in some means, it is suppressed to a wide variety of other antigens as well, not just to the autoantigens. Now, the second problem with the current uh, treatments is that even if these treatments are successful at inhibiting the ongoing cause, the treatments do nothing to um, accelerate the regeneration of what has been damaged. So we're going to be talking now about the use of stem cells. And the first exciting reason why stem cells should be used in multiple sclerosis, at least on a clinical trials basis, is that stem cells have already been demonstrated to modulate the immune system in clinical trials in humans. So for this specific type of stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells, are already in phase three of clinical trials and efficacy has been demonstrated in diseases such as Graves versus host as well as in Crohn's disease. Here is an example of, a, of an intestinal pathology, um, an immune mediated pathology on the left hand side is before stem cell treatment and on the right hand side you can see after stem cell treatment complete resolution of the immune mediated damage. This was from the uh, publication by the company Osiris. The second reason why stem cells are very attractive is because mesenchymal stem cells can inhibit the immune response against the myelin sheath. Here is a publication from Zapia et al. in the journal Blood from 2005 and the gray bars demonstrate uh, control cells being added. The black bars demonstrate addition of mesenchymal stem cells and on the, um, on the y-axis is proliferation of pathogenic T cells, proliferation uh, against uh, autoantigen MOG. And as you can see, there is a um, consistent blocking of pathogenic T cell proliferation in this experiment. The third reason from an immune modulating point of view why stem cells are attractive is because mesenchymal stem cells stimulate a type of T cell population called T regulatory cells. And here is an, uh, a publication from Macario et al. Uh, in, in which the numbers of CD4 positive, CD25 positive cells are markedly upregulated on the right hand side. Uh, and the importance of this is because CD4 positive, CD25 positive regulatory cells can not only inhibit uh, pathological immune response when it's occurring, but they also multiply and have a memory in the sense that when autoimmunity relapses, these cells also get activated and subsequently induce a remission. So in conclusion, from the immune modulating point of view, stem cells are very attractive because on the one hand there is clinical evidence of shutting down autoimmune and pathological immune responses. The other hand there is evidence that specific antimyelin responses can be blocked by these mesenchymal stem cells and the third important point is that there is a stimulation of T regulatory cells that not only synergize to prevent the, the ongoing immune, autoimmune attack but also cause a memory which will prevent future autoimmune attacks. Now, shifting gears, the possibility of using stem cells is very attractive in 
multiple sclerosis because not only can you inhibit the damage that's occurring, the immune mediated damage, but you can also stimulate regeneration. In this picture, this is from a publication in Journal of Clinical Investigations in which cord blood derived stem cells were administered into mice in which brain damage was induced by a, sur a surgically induced stroke and as you can see on the left the um, area of damage uh, this was a mice which were not treated with stem cells the control mice the mice which received stem cells uh, potent regeneration of neural mass was um, observed and as well in the study there is regeneration of neural functional activity in the animal model the second reason why uh, brain regeneration may be possible by the mesenchymal stem cells is because in this uh, paper by Crampera et al, one can see the, rege the uh, differentiation, direct differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells derived from either bone marrow, fat, spleen, or thymus into astroglial and neuronal-like cells. These are the black bars. And the other very interesting point from that publication was that various types of mesenchymal stem cells are actually capable of generating myelin and helping to remyelinate um, de a demyelinated nerve. So in conclusion, neural regeneration by stem cells is, um, seems to be a very plausible concept because it's already been demonstrated in numerous other systems besides mul uh, multiple sclerosis. Also, stem cells can differentiate directly into myelin-producing cells. In addition to the paper we talked about, there was a paper from Kielhoff et al., published in 2006, demonstrating this very nicely. And the other reason why neural regeneration is very attractive by stem cells is because uh, stem cells that are administered produce various growth factors that activate endogenous neural stem cells. Now, as with any treatment, there's the safety concerns. While adult stem cells, such as the ones we've been speaking about, they have been used clinically in thousands of patients with no reported adverse effects. And in this type of stem cell therapy, there is no need for immune suppressant. Uh, some, of, some of you may have heard about the um, autologous bone marrow transplants or the allogenic bone marrow transplants for multiple sclerosis. This type of stem cell treatment, such as mesenchymal stem cells, do not require immune suppression at all. And to reiterate the point, the difference between adult and embryonic, embryonic stem cells are known to form various types of tumors and teratomas. So far with adult stem cells, clinically there has been no evidence of this. So in conclusion, adult stem cell therapy is potentially beneficial in the treatment of MS because on the one hand we are inhibiting the disease process, the autoimmune process. On the other hand, we are inducing neural regeneration. Safety has been established by numerous studies and probably most exciting, the stem cell therapies, there is numerous preclinical reasons to believe that they would synergize with the currently used approaches. Thank you very much.